Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and today we're gonna to show you how to assemble the three brand new Bendy cards. Uh, actually, we've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to actually create these, and I know there's a few websites out there that have some templates for just the bases of the Bendy cards, and a lot of you, and there's on Pinterest, there's tons of amazing looking Bendy cards, but what we've done for you is we've taken and, and created the foundation for the cards as well as the final design. So um, Kyle did an amazing job creating three very unique Bendy cards, which I'll just talk about briefly here. Um, we've got one here that's um, got a Believe caption on top. Um, and the general theme is, you know, Santa's coming, basically. There's a, a beautiful landscape in the background with evergreens and a moon and um, the paper kind of looks like it has snowflakes on it, but it's, it's very reminiscent of stars in the sky. You've got a nice little snowman. Um, and for those of you that are not familiar with Bendy cards, uh, basically it's, you know, you've got the base of the card and there are little sections. There's two sections in these, uh, as far as these cards go, that basically come out and the way that they go in kind of, they, they don't go in flat, they kind of, um, well, they, they go in uh, a certain way to where, since they're not flat, they create this natural bend, hence bendy cards. Um, so these are a really cool, you can mail them flat, and then when your recipient gets them, just kind of pops the little tabs in, and then it will stand up on its own. It's really cool. Um, they look, these, these cards are just beautiful. I, my, my jaw just literally fell to the ground um, when Kyle showed me the final product. So I'm really happy with them and I hope you guys are too. Um, we've got one here that's a Silent Night card. Um, it's a cool little um, chill um, scene with a nice house in the back and there's deer and kids playing in the snow. And then we've got this one here, uh, which is basically a card centered around a Christmas tree, Ode to Joy, and the kids are basically sitting, waiting to open their presents. So um, you've got three to choose from. They're all beautiful, all very simple to make. And um, I can't wait to see your version of it. So uh, we actually used, uh, and we always use American cardstock for the plain colored stuff. So uh, we have a link to the paper um, in the supply list area under the product page. There's a little, there's tabs including the assembly video and a, a list of all the products and supplies that we used. And that's also included in your PDF file as well. And then we used um, Christmas Wonderland by Cartabella, uh, which is a very, it's, it's a very beautiful paper. Um, and it was just perfect for these cards. Uh, but of course, you know, any Christmas paper that you use is gonna work. And um, just make sure that it all coordinates. And then when you pick out your cardstock, Try to find cardstock that is actually sampled. The colors are actually sampled from the designer paper itself, just to kind of blend everything together. Um, so, aside from cardstock and the uh, designer paper, we did uh, add a few embellishments, and these embellishments were actually part of the Christmas Wonderland um, set from Cartabella as well, which we picked up online. Um, it's not necessary, and obviously, I, I know just from uh, history, you guys are going to jazz these up however you want to, and I, I'm super excited to see that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the assembly of the cards. Okay, so again, we've got this piece here. What we're going to do is a mountain fold, so you're going to fold this back, and let me get my glue. So yeah, as I was saying during the intro, uh, we've actually gotten a lot of requests for these. Uh, people are like, oh yeah, bendy cards, bendy cards, bendy cards. And we did a little bit of research and um, turns out that, like I said, there's uh, a bunch of them out there, but it's just the patterns for them, like the basic pattern for the basic frame of the bendy cards. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm just gluing that down. Okay, you just wanna make sure that that's flush with the edge and it's still not totally dry so I can kind of scooch it over and I think that there's a little bit of um, margin for error on this because it's a bendy card and it's going to bend anyway so the most important thing really is just to make sure that this bottom piece is flush okay so we've got that glued down we're going to take our deer and again you've got a mountain fold 
So we're gonna put glue right smack dab on this guy right here. Okay, and position it right there. Just make sure it's nice and even and lined up with the bottom as well as the side. Okay, so we're gonna push that down, get it to hold real good. Okay, and next part is this piece here. So again, the most important thing is just to make sure that you've got these slits lined up perfectly. Okay, so we're gonna put some glue all over the back of this. Try not to get any glue on the slit. My glue style is very, uh, very sparse because you don't really need that much. And I've said in previous videos, I've found that projects that have a lot of glue tend to warp the paper more over time. Okay, so that looks good. Got my slit there. Okay, so that looks great. Now we're gonna put the moon down. I'm just gonna pop some glue on the back of this guy. You guys can um, ink the moon if you want. You could draw a smiley face on them, whatever you wanna do. Okay, and there's my texture side. And again, we've got this little piece here and we're going to basically just uh, make sure that we just get the curtains in the right place. And actually I just wanna figure out where that's going so I know where to put my glue. I'm just gonna put some glue here and probably some up here. Maybe just a little bit on the side here, just to make sure that it gets a good hold. And over here, okay. So we're gonna glue that down, get those curtains in place. I'm gonna pop it over real quick and make sure that doorknob's in the right place too. And that looks good to me. So there you go with that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put glue all over this and pop that into place. Again, using that slit as a guide because we need to make sure that the bendy part of the card is able to um, you know, penetrate that little area. Okay, so I'm gonna get that lined up. And that's beautiful. Okay, look at that. That's awesome. Kudos to Kyle for the design on these and um, they just really have like a really classy look to them. And I just love them. Um, so let's go ahead and just get this caption glued down as well. And of course, you know, you can pop dot these and I'm just putting glue kind of in between the letters a little bit, They're pretty thin. Um, we actually, we cut this with a, a Sizzix Eclipse too. I know that the, uh, the Cricut Explore and the uh, Silhouette Cameo should have absolutely no problem cutting these details because uh, they're they're all great machines okay so there we go got that all right so basically as far as how these work it's actually quite simple what we're going to do is just take this okay and as you can see here we've got this um, this little tab and it's got a little notch cut into it and that notch is basically going to keep it in place um, so we're going to slide it through Okay, and then when it's through, we're just going to make sure you get it all the way through and then you can kind of push down so that it grabs and there's one part of it, okay? And then basically you're gonna take the other part, slide it through, and once it's through, just pop that down. And then the card will stand for you. And of course, I'm not gonna do this, but you can. I would put pop dots here, here, and probably one in the center and you can, if you want, kind of train this a little bit. I don't think it's really totally that necessary. And just pop that right into place. And there's your gorgeous card. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and put together the Believe card. I'm just gonna go over the pieces here quickly. And um, here is the base of the card, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by putting the actual bendy portions on first. So actually, you know, rather than tell you how to do it, I'm just gonna do it, Let's just get this done. So we're gonna grab this piece 
and we're going to put glue on this tab here. Again, we've got a mountain fold, and we want to basically just take this and align it with the bottom as well as the side, just to make sure that it's nice and flush with both, okay, because we do want it to stand up on its own. So I've got it aligned on the bottom. I'm going to fold this over, and as you can see, it's not totally at the edge. The glue's not totally dry yet, so it's giving me some time to adjust it. Okay, so that's nice and in place. I'm gonna fold that out of the way and push down here. Okay, then we're gonna grab the fence. And again, the fence is like this. We're gonna do a mountain fold. And we're gonna put glue on this tab here. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna get this glued flush with the bottom, flush with the side. Make sure that holds. I'm gonna fold it out of the way, push down. Okay, so we've got that in place. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down the skyline, okay? And as you can see here, we've got uh, the little notch here, or the slit, I should say. So we wanna make sure that that's aligned. And I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this. Make sure you get it out to the edges. Okay. And again, you're using this little slit as a guide. Just make sure that that's nice and lined up. And the rest of it should fall into place. You should have a nice even border all the way around. Just push down. Make sure it's got a great grip and hold. Okay. Now, the next piece that we're going to put down is the, um, the skyline here. And again, we've got a nice slit there, a nice slit there. And um, it's actually texture side up is how we cut it. So you don't, that's not going to work that way. You want to make sure that you put it down the correct way. So we're going to put our glue on the back of this guy. And you see how quickly these things go together, yet how impressive they are. Um, the design work that Kyle did is just phenomenal. So just do your best to get that slit lined up. Push that down. Now, you, know, you probably would love to pop dot this or something to give it even more dimension, but unfortunately you can't because that slit needs to be flush. Or all, the, all these layers need to be flush so that these guys can actually go through that slit, <clears throat> but the uh, bendy portions give it enough dimension to where we don't need to worry about that. So uh, at this point, what we can do is, um, I mean, you can put the Santa down, and as you can see here, we've got it pop dotted. So I'm not actually gonna do that, but um, you know, put a pop dot maybe here. You may need to take a pop dot and maybe cut it into a uh, half of a pop dot or a quarter of a pop dot and maybe put one or two here and then place Santa um, about there just so like one of the reindeers going over the moon or you know you can do a couple going over the moon if you want so that's the, that's where that's gonna go and then um, I'm just gonna talk about the actual bendy portion here real quick now you can actually leave the snowman as is um, but we do have an optional red cap that you can glue down right there and we created a cute little scarf for him in case you think he's um, a little too cold you can dress him up a little bit so that all that all that cold doesn't get to his brain so i'm not going to glue that down but that's where that goes okay so that takes care of this flap here and then we've got this flap here and then we've got uh, the fence portion that you're just gonna glue down in place here. Just make sure that you've got a nice even white border around all of the fences. I'm sorry, all of the posts in the fence. Okay, and we have this, um, This you know, we have another snow bank here basically. Um, and you can pop dot that if you want or you can just glue it down. Okay, so that's where those pieces are gonna go. I'm not gonna worry about gluing that down. And then finally, we've got 
I've got this piece here, which is just a, a nice little accent for the fence. You've got the bottom layer. You're going to glue that on the green layer on top of the white. And then you've got these two layers for, uh, what are these called, Kyle? Hollies or berries? Yeah, the berries on the holly. Holly berry. <laughs> that's funny. Um, anyway, so that's going to get glued down there. Okay. So that will take care of that. And then really all that's left is the, uh, the beautiful little caption up at the top. And for the actual caption, you've got three layers. You've got the white for the bottom. And then you've got this red layer that goes on top of that white. And then you've got this white layer that goes on top of the red to clean that off. So you're going to glue these all together. And then this, actually, as you can see, we have pop dotted just to kind of bring it out a little bit. That's going to get glued down here. And then you can either glue this right into place or you can actually pop dot that as well. And, you know, as you can see in our final design here, we've got these, um, these cute little accents that were actually part of the, uh, the embellishments that came with the paper. Well, they didn't come with the paper, but they were made specifically for that paper line. So um, we're just going to pretend like we have all that in place. And literally, again, the process of putting this together is just taking this piece here, sliding it through, and then kind of pushing it down so that it grips. And then we're going to take this piece, slide it through, push it down so that it grips and my paper's kind of bowed, so it's not standing up, but there you go. And that is the Believe card. I think that one is definitely my favorite, but they're, they're all great looking. So let's go ahead and put together the final card. Okay, so let's go ahead and put together the Ode to Joy Bendy card. And we're going to start with the base, which is this piece here. And we've got the left bendy portion, which is the basically stack of presents. I hope that my stack of presents are that ginormous this year. It's pretty doubtful. I'm not sure that. I don't know what Santa thinks of me this year, but hopefully I'll get something. And I'm going to glue that down. So that was a mountain fold. I'm going to push that down, make sure that's in place. Then we've got the children. Again, that's a mountain fold. I'm going to put glue on this tab and get that glued into place and just make sure that, again, you've got it nice and lined up and flush with the bottom, flush with the side. Okay, and I can tell that when I fold it in, it's kind of skewed, pointing down, so I just fixed it while I still had time. Push these out of the way, push down there, get that all nice and on there. Okay, so we're going to put this piece down um, next, but before we do that, we're going to put these cool snowflakes on the, uh, the back or behind the window. Now you can, if you have some paper that has like a cool winter scene on it or something like that, that might be cool there or something that looks like snowflakes or, you know, whatever you want to kind of create a little scene outside that window or just some pattern paper will look good as long as everything coordinates. So I'm just putting glue along the outside here, being very careful. Okay, and just make sure that you're covering up that window. Oh, these are actually we got smaller snowflakes and bigger snowflakes, so we can choose. I want to go with the smaller ones because it's really coming down heavy out there. Okay, and actually uh, in this window, the snowflakes are larger, so go figure. Okay, yep, see that it looks kind of weird, but oh well, uh, you get the idea. So basically, once you have that down, we're going to want to go ahead and glue this down. And now, actually, it's up to you. If you want, you can put these on first before you put this entire layer on, or you can put them on after. I don't really think it makes a difference. So again, I'm just going to be careful with our glue here, because this is kind of a, a thin little piece. I just want to just make sure you just get a little bit of glue on these little panels here. And they do create a nice, should be a nice little um, border 
inside the window and outside the window. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust that a little bit. Okay, so you get the idea there. And you're gonna do the same thing with this panel here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put glue on this entire piece. And again, just make sure that when you're putting this down, that these slits align. And that is how you know that you've got it in the right place. And as you can see, when we've got those aligned, the border around here is perfect, okay? So we've got that in place. Now, next thing you wanna do is get your Christmas tree, okay? And we've got the little garland with the little um, circles for the baubles. And then there's also a star. So you can assemble the star by gluing these together. You can pop dot the smaller one on top of the larger one and then glue that right there at the top, okay? But the most important thing at this point is just to make sure that the slit on this Christmas tree aligns with the slit on the base of the card. So you don't want to go too, you don't want to go too far down and overlap it too much. You want to make sure that it's perfectly lined up. The actual Christmas tree is going to extend past the card or past the top of the card. So let's get that glued down. Okay. Now I've talked about this in, in previous videos. Normally, if I was to be doing this on my own time, I'd be sitting and I'd probably be getting my face really close to this project so I can actually see what I'm doing. So um, doing my best here to make everything as perfect as possible while keeping a distance um, so that you don't have to look at my ears and my hair in the video. But of course, again, you're going to have your panel here for the window on already. Now, before we assemble anything else, um, we have these optional characters here. These are the parents. So I don't know if you want supervision in your scene or not, um, but you're gonna wanna put these guys down. Uh, obviously you don't want the feet going below the card. So basically anywhere you wanna put them is fine. Um, and you've got, looks like a dad figure with a child on his shoulders, putting the star up. And I think mom looks like she's clapping. Um, so. That's exciting, and you can put that down. And of course, again, we've got the garland, okay? And ours is on like this. Okay, so you're gonna glue that down. And then we've got these, we've got these cool little um, embellishments that you can pop on there if you want to give the illusion of uh, a bauble. Okay, so that takes care of the backmost layer. And at this point, we can just go ahead and talk about the assembly of the actual bendy portions. So, you can do the, um, the one with the kids first. And again, these, um, these characters here are totally optional. You, can, you don't have to leave them on. It could be just the kids, you know, by the Christmas tree with all the presents and it's still super cute. Um, so that's totally up to you. And you're gonna find these guys, the adults are gonna be in the extras folder if you do want to use them. Um, so let's talk about this panel here, okay? And we have this piece here. It's gonna get glued down like so, okay? Just make sure that when you do that, that it's nice and flush with the bottom, that it doesn't extend. Actually, one second here. Yep, just make sure that it doesn't extend or overlap this little notch here, okay? So you want that to be just flush with right before where that little notch starts. Okay, so you're gonna glue that down there. And then we have the caption. So let's take a look at the caption. It's pretty straightforward. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, because we do need to sort of train um, these bendy portions a little bit because, because of the multiple layers, um, we do need to train this this piece here so that it bends properly. And again, I put my glue down and I just wanna make sure that I'm not overlapping this little notch on the side. And I may need to put some more glue down here in a second because I didn't have it in the right place, but actually that looks good. Okay, so once you have that glued 
and you've given it just a minute or so to dry, just take, take your finger like this, just kind of grab it in between two fingers, hold down here, and just kind of train it to bend, okay? Just kind of give it a natural bend. Don't, don't bend it too much, just a nice little natural bend just to kind of get it going in that direction. Um, once it has that memory of bending, you'll still be able to take it out and fold it flat, but as you can see, it kind of bounces back. So, um, and the reason we're doing that is because we do have a few layers here and um, gotta kind of train them so that they work properly. So now we've got the caption, okay? And uh, we've got the bottom layer here, and then we've got a green layer, a white layer, and another white layer. Okay, so those are all gonna be glued like so. So let's do that real quick. Now actually, what you wanna do is you wanna put glue on the back of this so that you know where to put the glue so that we don't make a mess and get the glue everywhere. Okay. I actually got an email from, or maybe it was a conversation that I had with a customer who told me that she has little, um, uh, I don't know what they're called, but little attachments for the tips of the glue that actually helps with um, the amount that it releases. And she said that she finds that very helpful. And I believe she's actually, I think she's more into fabric, um, but she dabbles with paper a little bit. Um, I wanna say she's out in California, I totally forgot her name. Um, but we may need to look into that just to kind of help with the flow of the glue because I've kind of learned that that's pretty important um, to getting a consistent product. But there's the caption, and I, I just love how that looks. The font is nice and classy. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of training this to bend as well. Okay, And um, I realized that I'm going to put this down um, bent, but that's okay because again, it's got that, once you bend it like that, it has this memory and it's going to more easily get back into that position. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of train this a little bit too. Um, you've got the, the little holly pieces here and this piece is going to go here. You can just glue that down. You can pop dot it if you want. It's totally up to you. And then the berries themselves, there's a white layer and a red layer. You wanna glue those together. And actually the white layer just barely, barely shows up. It's almost just like a, a little drop shadow. If um, For those of you guys that are familiar with like Photoshop, it's just like a, a really subtle touch. So it's not totally necessary, but it does give that little extra detail element. So we just glue that down, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not really necessary for me to show you how all this works. I'm gonna put that out of the way. And, and actually, we've got, we've got this part pop dotted. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab some pop dots. Okay, I'm gonna pop one on the side there. One on the side there, and just kind of pop that right in the center there. And again, just kind of train this a little bit. Just hold it there, grab your fingers, just kind of give it a, give it a nice bend, okay? So that part's done, and literally all we have left to do is the presence, okay? And now we're like, okay, during the design process, we're like, how are we going to make this look awesome, but still be easy? So um, Kyle devised this method, and I'm gonna show it to you here. First thing we're gonna do is take this bottom layer, and we're gonna glue this middle layer to the top of that. And again, we're using the slits as a guide to make sure that everything's lined up Okay, so we're gonna take some glue and put it on the back of this guy here. Okay, let me scoot that out of the way. 
Now these patterns on here are making it a little bit difficult to see the slits. So it may help to get a piece of paper behind here that's a little more contrasting. Like in this case, white would be perfect to help you really see that slit to make sure that you've got everything lined up. But that looks good to me, okay? And again, I'm gonna just start training this right now, okay? So we've got that. And, okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this, I'm just gonna train this just a tiny little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, and take this piece, and of course, again, we're just using the slits as a guide, and actually, with this, the bow and the top present, and this present here can also serve as a guide, because this piece is basically, um, should be flush with the rest of it. So we're gonna go ahead and take our glue and get our glue all over the back of these presents. Okay. Use these guys up here as a guide and the slits should line up. Just make sure that they do, just pay attention to those. Okay, and then you can push down. Make sure that they're nice and perfect. There we go. Okay, all right, and again, give that just a, a minute or two to dry before we start training it even more. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at probably the, the most tedious part of this card, and basically the objective of this first step is to get glue, and if you take this piece and line it up with this piece that is not attached to the card, you'll see that we've got ribbon and little frames around these presents here. So your first, um, first task is to get glue on all these parts that touch these four presents. You don't need to put glue on these pieces here just yet. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and flip this over. Okay, and again, I'm just using this as a guide. Okay, so I'm flipping this over, okay, and I'm just gonna take this off, and the reason I'm doing this is to kind of get a visual of where my glue needs to go. Okay, so basically, we're just gonna glue this present here, this present here, this present here, and then that present there, but not this piece here. Okay, so hopefully you can see all that. And if you do get some glue in some other spots, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just using little dots because I think that that's the best way to have control uh, working with such a small area, okay? And just do your best to get your glue on the spots that matter, and that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. Just make sure that's nice and lined up, flush with the bottom. I'll show you what the front of that looks like. Okay, so we've got that. And just kind of wipe off some of that excess glue. Okay, and do your best to get that all lined up. And now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on all of these presents. And then fill in the gaps with the rest of the ribbon here. And again, I'm probably a foot away from this, so it's a little difficult for me to be as precise as you will be. But just do your best, take your time. If you have to take the glue and kind of put some on the side and use like a, a, a pin or something else to kind of get it um, to be a little more precise, you can do that, okay? And once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and just glue that down like so, because these pieces need to overlap the rest of the presents, okay? So you can see, and also while you're doing this, just make sure that there's a specific little cut here so that it doesn't obstruct the slit, okay? Okay, so now that my presents are nice and dry, Basically what you wanna do is just kind of kind of train this a little bit. And you can tell that when you get your fingers in between there, it is pretty thick, okay? So just kind of 
give it a nice bend just to help it bend. You can still, when you take it out, fold it flat and look, as you can see, when you release it, it does remember that. Okay, so it's, it's almost like a muscle memory for the paper. So we're gonna go ahead and take this, slide it through, and then pull it down just so that little notch grabs. And then we're gonna take the children and slide this through that slit. And we're gonna pull that down. And there you go. It's beautiful. Again, the, uh, the presents are a little, uh, it's a little tedious, but of course, as I said, if you can just take your time with it, um, you know, we didn't want to uh, omit the, the detail on the present, so um, it was really the, the best solution. And again, it's a, it's a little challenging, but the end result is beautiful. So um, there you go. Well, I hope you guys had just as much fun putting these together as we did bringing them to you. And if you do make one of these cards, we'd love to see your version. So be sure to post it on various social media, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and use the hashtag that you're gonna see at the bottom of your screen to tag your photos, because we'll be looking for photos featuring that hashtag and hopefully selecting your images for inclusion in our Dreamers Gallery, which we're still working on. Um, and if you happen to make it into the Dreamers Gallery, you'll be qualified to win gift cards and various prizes, so be sure to do that. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss out on any of our trailers or future assembly tutorials. So again, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.